most valuable commodity I know of is information. Wouldn't you agree? All right, guys, glad you could join me. So basically, what I have here is crock pot. And I'm taking the lid and I'm inverting it. I just put a screw in there temporarily. And why I'm doing this is because I'm creating a still with a regular old crock pot. Um, just by inverting the lid and stacking up some glass containers in there. Uh, there's basically one small glass on the, container on the bottom to isolate it from the bottom and create like a uh, air pocket for thermal re resistance to the bottom. Also, that's what that um, little cloth is for. And then the top container is my collection container. And so with the lid inverted, uh, the stuff around the bottom, which is going to be the store-bought alcohol, just your average 80 proof or 40% alcohol, which I got it tested right there. And since it's around the bottom, it's going to heat up. I'm going to heat it to 170 to 190. Somewhere in between there is ideal. And uh, what will happen is the alcohol will evaporate up, condense on the top, and then drip down into the center. At least that's the premise. So we'll go ahead and uh, give this a shot. Purifying alcohol. We got the uh, super cheap rum here. Got that in here. We got an old fashioned crock pot. You know, everybody's got one of these around. And I uh, got my flask here, an alcohol tester, as you saw earlier. I tested it right at 80 proof, 40%. So we're gonna collect all this stuff in the middle see what kind of temperature we're running just push that up to the side here a minute hundred and fifty two we'll just keep going all right back again what we're gonna do, we got that concentrating, got a decent amount here built up. See that boiling, probably got about a shot. Pour that down in. Let's see what the temperature is 173, 172. So it is. 72. That's what we need. It's exactly right. Let's put that keep going. All right, guys. Well, let's check this out. I couldn't find a graduated cylinder. They're down in the basement, so I'll just use this uh, piece of equipment. It's just uh, part of a glass syringe. Not even a good one either, but we'll make do with what we have. Oh, peeing right. <laughs> All right. So anyway, we're not going to do that. I've already done this. Um, I wanted to show you, but you can take my word for it. Uh, this was a partial failure and a partial success. Uh, basically got 60% alcohol in this graduated or in this uh, flask here. Um, I'll show you what the uh, remnants look like. The remnants of this cheap rum here, I used the entire half of a gallon. It's still going here. Um, you can see it's still evaporating, but that stuff looks kind of gross. Not what we're really drinking, but yeah, um, this everything was clean here. This was all clean equipment, so I don't know why it looks like that, but it has been running for eight hours. I think on my next experiment, in order to get a higher percentage of alcohol, I'm actually going to try this again. I'm going to put ice right up here around the center. I'm going to form something that can go over here, a solid block of ice that can go over the top here and allow it to condense. I'm going to put place that once uh, evaporation starts occurring. And I did get manage to get the temperature on the... Uh, the keep warm setting after running it on high until it got up to temp and then putting it to keep warm on this particular unit um, you basically get the exact right temperature about 180 and uh, 
So that's pretty neat. So I guess it's a partial fail, partial success. I mean, I really wanted to get over 70%. That was the goal, but hey, there's always next time. We'll just try that ice thing up here for condensation and maybe shrink the uh, container. I think that will raise the alcohol percent if I just put a, a narrower diameter container. Well, anyway, thanks for joining me. Uh, until next time, have a good one.